it was a great experience. Uh, you know, learn a lot from those guys. Got to play in a World Cup, which is it's an unbelievable honor for anyone I think playing for their country. So uh, just to you know put on put on the green and gold for Australia, and you know just play hoops through summer with a bunch of uh, my countrymen and playing at such a high level against you know guys from this team and the NBA and. Uh, High-level Euro League and stuff was was awesome. Uh, I learned a heap, learned, lo learned lots from the guys on my team, and playing against other quality uh, bigs and stuff. So, uh, all in all, it was a really, really good experience. You had a game against Lithuania with uh, Jalgiris players inside the squad. Uh, tell us about that first meeting with your new teammates. <laughs> it was it was cool. Uh, you know, we were we were we we were friendly. Uh, we didn't really speak to each other throughout the the campaign just because we were competing against each other and trying to win for our, um, our countries but uh, you know I, I kind of had a word with a couple of them in the lobby and said what's up and that was that was about it you know once the game came around it was all business and we were both trying to come out with that uh, W so uh, obviously I had a chat to them today and met them a bit more today and uh, still learning names and everything but yeah they're, they're, uh, they're helping me out and uh, they've been good. Those guys know how to play basketball. That's you know the biggest thing is Lithuania is a powerhouse in Europe and uh, produce a lot of really quality uh, players. So uh, Grigonis is a really good scorer. I think he had like 18 or 20 for him, and he was a tough matchup for us. So I know those guys can play at a really high level, and you know they've showed it throughout their careers. So to be able to now get on a team with them and you know get on the court and play for Zalgiris is unbelievable. Uh, you know I think we've already kind of know each other's games a little bit just from scouting each other and um, you know I think it'll be it'll be fun to pair up with them and actually play with them uh, this season. Let's talk about Zalgiris Ofer. A team contacted you quite early, yeah? Yeah, uh, they they contacted me a while ago. Uh, kind of expressed expressed interest and. Uh, you know, told me that they were thinking, thinking about you know the future, a future with me and everything like that, and uh, that was very exciting, especially being a first year guy in Europe and fresh out of college. As I didn't really, you know, I didn't really think that it would uh, step up that quickly. So, you know, to have a powerhouse like uh, Zalgiris kind of uh, contact me really early and uh, you know uh, express interest in getting me on board with their program was awesome. So uh, nothing but really, really good things about the coaching staff and, you know, kind of uh, how the team, you know, meshes together and the, the style they play. And I think that that suits me a lot. Uh, you know, it's, it's a fast moving team that, you know, shares the ball a lot and, you know, there's not much standing around. So everyone's kind of involved and uh, it's really tough to guard as a, you know, as on the offensive end. And I think that's something that suits me a lot is just, you know, fast moving and making reads and, and all that kind of stuff. So uh, for me, it was in terms of basketball, it was a simple, simple, simple decision because I know the coaching staff have a really good reputation of you know finding players early in their careers and turning them into really, really good players uh, f for later in their career. And uh, for me, that's you know where I'm, where my head's at is you know I just want to try and get better year to year. And I felt like this was the best place to, place to do it by far. And then one of the other big things is the fan bases. And you know I came from Partizan, which is a really good fan group there. And uh, I've heard that this one might even be better. So um, you know that's that always plays a big part for me because I, I love getting you know play, I love playing with a lot of energy and uh, a lot a lot of the time when you've got a really good crowd there, you kind of feed off that energy as well. A few years ago, Australian Brock Motum was playing here. Yep. Do you know him? Maybe you had a chance to ask an advice for, from him. Yeah, so uh, I met Brock for the first time in the Australia camp. He was uh, he was selected to uh, play in the camp, so uh, kind of spoke to him, and you know we're we're in contact at the minute, and he's kind of helping me out with uh, you know places to go and you know what to do with you know certain aspects of the lifestyle and all that kind of stuff. So. He's uh, he has nothing but high praise for uh, Zalgiris, and you know he, he loved loved his time here. Uh, you know he even got a wife here, so it's uh, he's he has nothing but praise for this place. And he he said that it was a great decision for me in my career because it helped him a lot as well. And I think when you get that from uh, someone who you trust, being an Australian and knowing that he's a pretty stand-up guy and stuff like that, uh, I think it's something that you got to take on board. And um, you know that's what I did. I, I trust Brock's opinion, and uh, he had nothing but good things to say. Uh, before you have mentioned the coaching stuff here, uh, what did you talk about head coach uh, Sharuna Sesikavich about like before signing the contract? Oh, he just, we just kind of, you know, we, we spoke a little bit about what my role would be and uh, where he kind of saw me playing and the things I needed to improve on and 
uh, all that kind of stuff and you know he told me that he thought he could he could help with that and so I took that on board as you know all, nothing but positive you know I, I just want to learn I'm a student of the game and um, you know at the end of the day I think that he's probably the best coach in Europe right now that uh, can help me do that so uh, I'm really excited to play for him and learn as much as I can and pick his brain so I'm, uh, my plan is just to be a sponge and you know come in and just talk to him every day try and figure out you know what he thinks about certain aspects of the game and you know, take that forward. Uh, take that forward in my career. In your first season in Europe, you have you have been playing in EuroCup. Uh, now you are taking this step to EuroLeague. Uh, how do you feel about taking this challenge? Yeah, I, I understand that it's going to be really tough. Uh, I think that you know I, I saw a lot of EuroLeague level players out in uh, at the at the World Cup and you know kind of similar similar games there and. Um, you know, it's it's really it's really hard to play at that level. Uh, you know, it's it's so uh, I'm trying to think what the word is. It's so uh, exact. You know, it's it's there's not there's not much room for mistakes, and you have to you have to be on top of your game every single night. It's always physical, and uh, yeah, it's like playoffs all year round. So. Uh, I understand that it's going to be a really tough year and uh, that, you know, that there'll be ups and downs and, uh, and all that, but uh, I think that I'm definitely ready for it and uh, you know, I've, I've been excited to kind of get, get this going and see how well we can do. At the end of the season, what could you call like a good season? I think if we make the Final Four, that's a great season. Uh, Making the playoffs is probably a good season, but I think that we all, we all have in mind that we want to win a championship and you know, I think that it's open for us to do so. I think that we've put together a really good squad and uh, I think that, you know, just playing against these guys and kind of seeing them play throughout the years and, you know, I know some of the imports as well, Zach Lede and Nigel, I know, I know how they play as well, so I think that we've put together a really good squad and uh, I think at the end of the day, if we can make the final four, that'd be, that'd be huge. Uh, how could you introduce yourself for Jalgiris fans who are waiting to see you on the court? Man, I'm just a high energy guy. Uh, I love coming in and playing with a lot of passion. Um, you know, I think that I'm going to bring energy and uh, some, you know, excitement to the game and uh, uh, just kind of run the floor as best I can and, you know, set hard screens and, and, and make uh, as many good plays as I can. So uh, I think, you know, at the end of the day, it's just I'm going to come in and try and be the best teammate I can and just play with a lot of energy.